How cool is that de aging technology? In the Un freaking believable. I know. You can do it on an app now. Technology's what? amazing. All right, I'm going to de age you. You ready? Ooh, a bit much. Uh. Next. What? Hey guys, welcome back to Take Five. I'm Jake. I'm Max. And we've just watched Captain Marvel. <laughs> Captain Marvel um, stars Brie Danvers. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I had this already. I had this all, all planned. Did you? Yeah. It all went wrong, didn't it? Crap. Where's your head at? In the clouds. Right, so Captain Marvel. Um, I was really, really excited about this one. Um, what a great film to watch on International Women's Day. Um, men are great too, but day for women, yay! It was good. Stars Brie Larson as Captain Marvel, and I really enjoyed it. Yes, so Brie Larson is Carol Danvers, but uh, she doesn't really know who she is, so she actually calls herself Veers. Veers. She's lost her memory. She doesn't know who she is, and she's on the planet of uh, a group called the Kree, the Kree, who have found her and uh, kind of gave her a blood transfusion and looking after her and training her. <laughs> I didn't actually know that Jude Law was in this. Um, I'm a big fan of Jude Law. I don't feel like he's been in much lately, but I thought, damn, he's looking pretty good. You have to let go of the past. I don't remember my past. It's causing you doubt, and doubt makes you vulnerable. She can like blast things from her oh uh, uh, fist. Call it? Photon blasts. Right. Yeah, just like that. That was how she did. She's like, but she's. Kind of, he doesn't want her to use them. He wants her to control her powers with that. Wait, what were you doing? I was getting my powers up. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't have like the, um, what's it called when people fiddle in the background and make things glow? <laughs> Talk about people fiddling <laughs> in the background. <laughs> <laughs> So she goes on a mission with the Kree to find an undercover agent, but it's a trap! It's a trap! It's a trap! It's a trap! They go out to fight these uh, green guys. Uh, do you know what the green... Goblins. Go <laughs> They're not she goblins. Goes to fight the green goblin. No, it's not the green goblin. That's <laughs> Spider-Man. Spider -Man turns up. <laughs> <laughs> the bad guys, supposedly, called... The squirrels. The squirrels. <laughs> the scrolls. Scrolls. The scrolls. <laughs> But it's cool because they go to this planet and you do you see the scrolls and you know they they can change into anybody or anything so they can literally manipulate DNA 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 <laughs> and they could look like I could look like Jake if I was a squirrel I could be like you know what I like your look I don't and know I take you're it. not a scroll you said squirrel scroll you said squirrel squirrel <laughs> scroll Say that again? Scroll. Squirrel? Scroll! <laughs> Horrors that you remember and so much that you do not. So they're on this planet and they're fighting the squirrels and... <laughs> squirrels! <laughs> <laughs> Those damn squirrels. And she gets captured by the scrolls. She does. And they inject her brain with like electricity and suck out her memories. And all these memories come flooding back of a life she had on Earth. Heal! Something in my past is the key to all of this. So she escapes from the Kree and crashes back into Earth. And it's, what is it, the 90s? How do I look? Fresh. Just Where we cool. meet a very young and handsome looking Samuel L. Jackson. Okay. A toast is cut diagonally. I can't eat it. Yep. Nick Fury, mm -hmm. Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. and we also meet Coulson, yep. the other Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. and he's again de-aged. The technology is fantastic. And what's your name, huh? Fury. What's the whole thing, like she's sort of struggling um, with who she is. Mm. And that's just it. And then Earth sort of starts bringing back all these memories. Mm. And she's got these memories of her always being like shot down by people. Like, you're not good enough, you're not good enough, you know, stay down. And, um, you know, I think there is... The whole movie is a bit of a struggle, you know? And and at the end, when she really becomes herself, I, I thought it was really powerful. I'm kind of done with you telling me what I can't do. She is basically the very first Avenger before any of the Avengers were around, before Samuel L. Jackson knew about any aliens or mm -hmm. anything like that, so she started the whole thing off. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like a flashback film it for is. the whole Marvel timeline. And I thought they captured it really well, you know, like, there wasn't a point I thought, oh, this is a bit out of place. Mm. Um, you know, it, it had it had some of its pain points, I think all films do, 
But, um, you know, for its first sort of real strong um, uh, sort of woman-focused film, I thought it was phenomenal. Mm. Yeah. So what would you give this out of 10? Definitely a 9.5 because I left that, I left the cinema last night feeling like I had an experience. I left that theatre feeling good and excited mm. about um, the Avengers. I'd give this a solid 8 out of 10. I think it's a really good film. 9.5 all Split the way. Let's score. Worth checking out. Go see it. I'm ready. Captain Marvel. Have you seen Captain Marvel? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And remember guys, every Wednesday 12 o'clock we release a brand new video so make sure you like, subscribe and hit that bell. That's all from us. Catch you next time.